see this grass growing right here? Take this knife right. and just, you just grab it at the top and cut it at the bottom and just gather it up into a little bundle. Since we didn't bring a lighter with us, we're gonna have to use flint and steel. Flint and steel have been used to make fire for thousands of years. And any mountain man worth his sand is gonna have a striker and some flint with him. You put that char cloth just on the edge of the flint and then hit it straight like that, and that way the sparks will fall down onto the char cloth. If you've got it up here at an angle, they'll go all over the place. You gotta make a little spark that's got to catch on a little piece of cloth called char cloth. And that's what gets the ember glowing before you put it into your fire bundle and then blow life into it to actually make a flame. Hold it like I showed you. Even if you don't have food to eat, if you've got a fire, that can make the difference between you being able to survive out here or not. It's getting really frustrating because I know I have to get this fire going. And I'm sitting there just scraping off knuckles and breaking my flint into pieces. It's horrible, misery. You know, it's getting cold, it's getting late. But the whole point of this whole trip is for a learning experience for Ben. You're getting good sparks. Take good care of it. Keep it going. Keep it going. Drop it down in there. Keep it going. You hold, it around, hold it around in your hand. Now blow through it slowly. Hold it up higher, like out in front of you like this. Almost, 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 almost. When you finally do get your tinder bundle going, you want to remember, exhale, not inhale. All right, you did it. Yeah. You did it.